Now, before I go ahead and start associating everything here, I guess we gotta determine what are we gonna do. For example, these resistors, which ones are we going to use? Well, I don't need to really pick these out specifically. I do know that I'm going to go surface mount for pretty much all of this stuff. So these are gonna be 0805s, that seems good. So no big there. And the same with the LEDs. I've got one footprint that I made up for these, for whatever reason, Cree LEDs, I get a whole bunch of them. And a same 0805 for the capacitor down here. Maybe, maybe bigger for that. I, I don't know, because again, the timings, right? So maybe, let me think about that, because maybe you want to be able to swap some things out here. Uh, I don't know, I guess I gotta think about that. Um, and then these down here, service mount as well, just bought a whole pile of service mount NPNs. Now, the thing that is different here though is this particular pin header one over here is gonna be just a two pin through hole input that I use these little, they're, they're test pins, they're, they're, they look kinda of like an eye of a needle, you know, they're, they're probably about four or five millimeters tall, sticking out of the board tall. So I'm gonna use a different footprint for these than I will for these over here because these are going to be, again, the just flat surface mount jumper pads. So it's just two pads, two surface mount pads that are only about maybe a millimeter or so apart from each other. So it'll become easy to just put a blob of solder across the two of them. So that's what I'm doing. So I might as well just get started with, we'll do the easy stuff first for our, all, all the resistors. Yeah, let's do those first. So you come up here, find the resistors, and here's all my libraries. I've, I've got this pCloud drive, which is like Dropbox or um, Spider Goat. No, it's not Spider Goat. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Google Drive, etc. This is really nice because then all of your libraries can be there. And even though KiCad as of yet doesn't have or work with a cloud drive, the old me would hate me for saying this, but I really kind of like it with Fusion and some of the other programs they work with. So anyways, you know, throw all your stuff up there. And uh, see some of the other videos about libraries and pointing your libraries to different places. If you point your library in all your different locations, sorry, let me say that more clearly. If you point your libraries to your remote drive on every computer that you use, then every time you open it up, you'll be okay, as long as you connect to that drive first. So we'll go find resistor and we're going to go with SMD and then look over here and we're going to go with, like I said, an 0805 and we'll go with the hand solder version. Now I can click this and watch this. So you can hold down shift, you can multi-select things and then double click it. So then you get all of them. Cool, right? So that gets me there. Now the test points, the individual test points. Oh yeah, I have those up in mind. I, I just got uh, somewhere down in here. Test point through hole, you see? And so then if you take a look at it here, it's just one hole. Except, be mindful when you're doing this. Come on. Oh, I'm not in the footprint editor, so I guess I can't see it. Make sure that the hole is big enough. I kind of screwed that up a little while ago. The hole was just barely big enough, and I kind of shoved the things in there and call it good. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, I want to do that with all of these. Oops. Get those. Okay, then the two pin headers, like I said, pin header one is going to be my regular two pad, where's my new one? Two pin, five millimeter screw terminal. I kind of got to fix this. Maybe I think I did. Two pin test point. Let's check that one out. No, 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 that's not it. Through pull, th this might be the new one. See, I, I can't remember this crap. Oh yeah, that's right, I did this. So this is a good one. So I separated these things by like five millimeters, I think it said. And you can't tell, but there is actually a through hole underneath here. For some reason, the silk screen covers over the top of it. But notice that pin one that you can't see under here is the negative and pin two is the positive. So make sure, we'll go back over to the schematic in a second, make sure that that is the case. If not, re-something something, flip something around or whatever you need to do. So go ahead and do that. I'll associate that there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply save. 
So we're good. Hit OK. Come back here and look at this. So you see that pin 2 is the positive. And that makes me think again what I said earlier on, if, if I didn't edit it out, that I really need to take this pin, this, this symbol right here, and modify it to where I have a, a positive and negative symbol on here. So it correlates with that. And then you can actually go ahead and perm... Oh, oh no, that's because I just did that. I, uh, I was going to say you can permanently associate the one with the other so that every time I use this, it will associate with that particular footprint. Okay, so I've got those. Let's see, I need these. So I'll go back and... Then I'm going to find my, 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 my solder jumper down here. Long time ago I did a video and I seem to kind of waffle about it quite frequently, but naming conventions. So earlier, before filming, I was looking for this and I was looking two, two pin, two pin jumper, 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 two pin jumper, nope, nope, nope. And finally just scrolled through everything reading very carefully and I see solder jumper. And so that tells me, I don't know, I, I don't think I named that very good. So so be mindful of that. Name it the first word on here. So it alphabetizes that way. Make the first word be what you think this should be. So I probably should name this jumper, I think, something like that. Anyways, if we look at this, you see, it's just two solder pads that are, are separ separated by not very much. So we'll associate that to these guys right here. Yeah, all of those. Where'd it go? Oh. Okay. Then the LED, like I said, I think I have one on here. Again, didn't, oh, there we go. It doesn't really jump out. I, I should make a section called LED, whatever it is, LED dash space underscore whatever than the specifics. So I could find it easy enough. I'll go here. Yeah, this is the one that I want because the other ones didn't have the diode direction on it. Now make sure that it's wired this way too. So we've got two coming in, one coming out. I'll go, I'll go ahead and associate those, but we need to save this and go check out that that is the case. So right here, okay, that's a little bit tougher to get to just the pin number, but you see that coming in here, this is pin two, and so that's okay. So for these capacitors here, I just looked through my, my books and all I have are 0805 going up to one microfarad. And so I want at least 10, maybe from 10 to 100. So what I did is, as I'm here at DigiKey, and that's what I've done. I've sorted out, so I've got 10 through 100, and everything active, so I sorted by active, and just all the different surface mounts. Well, the first ones on the list here, they're all 10 microfarad, but they are 0805, so I could use an 0805 pad, but let's let's see what happens if I say, well, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to be able to do 20 as well. So I'll select those and apply that as a filter and see if we're still good. And so 22 microfarad and now we're, oh, well, 0603, geez. Yeah, of course, and we're going to be able to find an 0805 in here somewhere. Yeah, so I think that's okay. Then that, that probably gets me where I want. Now, I wanted to build this little circuit with what I had in stock right now, what I have on me, but one mic is not going to really cut it, not for being able to test, because I want to check the RC, the, the time constant, and I want to be able to do some tests with that, so I want to be able to maybe swap out a resistor, swap out a capacitor, and if I'm already, if let's say, you know, I'm not going to see any big change until I get up to 200, 300 mic or something, then maybe I need to make a bigger pad. So that's what I want to be able to do with this. I, I definitely on all these project type boards, I want to be able to set myself up to quickly swap out things to see what effect it has on the system. 
Anyways, uh, based upon what I have see here, 0805 is going to be just fine, but it does also tell me that yes, I'm going to have to make a DigiKey order or dig around a little bit more, find a cap. I have enough circuit boards around that you should be able to find something that you need off of some, some old board laying around. So I come over here, uh, 0805, hand solder again. And then we get down to the transistors. Okay, well, we have a problem. The resistor, this EBC that we're using here, is a SOT23. Here's the data sheet. But if you look here, hold on here, let me get some stuff organized here. So click this, and here's the footprint. One, two, three. Okay, compare that. Just rotate this around here, B, E, C. So this is a B, E, C that we have, and we've currently, this is gonna set us up, well, we've got, uh, we've chosen an E, B, C. So I've gotta change this, uh, a couple things around. So let's see, what am I gonna do? What do I gonna do? What's gonna be the easiest here? I could change the numbers around. I don't like the idea of changing pin one on the footprint here. Let's, let's close this. And go back here. How what, how difficult is this going to be here? Make a new footprint. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh God, dang it! Yeah, this is this is super bizarre. That's right. I forgot about this. Here's what I have to do. This is again in t the middle of some video that I did somewhere. I can't. Add an existing library, create a new library, create a new symbol, but that's going to be a brand new symbol. Export symbols, import symbols. So you see my choice here. What I don't have is save this as a new symbol. When this comes up, it's going to just save it wherever the hell it is. It's going to overwrite it. So what you got to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to say export the symbol. Maybe there's an easy way, but I, don't, I haven't found it yet. So I'm going to export this as that right there. I've already done it. So I'll save that, but notice it's notice it's an LIB file, so it's a library, you see? So I'm gonna hit replace, or that's fine, whatever. So I save it somewhere else, and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to say add an existing library and go to the one actually that you save, this one here, open it, and as it says, is this gonna be for project or global? It doesn't really matter, we're gonna get rid of it in a second. So you got that, and then it should be it was under Q, right? There it is, okay. Open that up and then I can cut it if I want. Then come up here and say paste symbol. Then here it is. Now you get the asterisk because it hasn't been saved. So before we do that, I want to edit the symbol Okay, so there we go. So that's it. I couldn't find rename, but really all you have to do is come over here. So this is the name. It's actually, I mean, of course it's the name, but it updates watch. So we need this to be a BEC. And as soon as I hit OK, then you'll see that this is my NPN BEC asterisk. It hasn't been saved yet. So that, that wasn't too bad. So now I have that. All I have to do is rename this thing B E C. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, one, two, three. That should be good there. So now I can close this and I'm going to save this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you know what I want to do is I want to save these. Sure, select all, save all. And then I want to get rid of, you know, clean house, get rid of this. Oh, yeah. So here's what you got to do. It's not in here. You got to go to preferences, manage libraries, scroll all the way to the bottom. And there's that library that you added in. And now you can click on here and you can say remove library and then it's gone. Okay. BEC, good. So we are all saved. We'll close that. And then everything broke. 
Ooh, okay. That was scary. So it was just some kind of weird glitch update. I checked properties, looked at something, seemed okay, closed it out, and then poof, everything was fine again. So then we're going to come down here and we're going to delete that guy. And then we're going to delete this guy. And we're going to add in our new BEC. Okay, no, that's not gonna be good. We're gonna have to do that. And we're gonna have to do um, mirror like that. Move that in here. Click. One, two, three. Copy that. Um, I think we're okay. Save that and run the checker again, just out of habit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. So I need to do that. Whatever you want to do, you can just name it yourself or rerun the uh, annotate. Okay, we're good. Save that. Now we can go back to here and we can find that, oh, where, where'd my SOT23 go? So, oh yeah, package, no, it's not, okay. So there we go here and find just a plain SOT23, check it out. So we got one, two, three, B, E, C, and that matches, oh, come here, buddy, B, E, C. Then we're done. Save that, hit OK. And then the next thing, of course, is to generate the net list. They come up here. PCB new seems to be the fine thing to do, generate the net list. Now, I seem to be on an older version. I thought I had the newer version, but it's acting like, I don't know, whatever. It's acting like the older version. The new version, what, instead of just saying net list and it just auto generates to, the folder that you're in, like it'll just pop up like this and say, is that where you want to put it? You hit save, yeah. It has a folder on it now. So before you save it, you hit the folder and then you say where to put it and then you hit okay. So it's just a little bit um, backwards. So that's it. Okay, great. Now I can call this good and I'm just gonna minimize it because you never know. I mean, quite frequently you're gonna have to come back to it again. So I'll shrink this down and then I'll go over to my PCB new. I'll start this one up and then you read the net list. And now again, this one here, you see the net list file, it says that it's right there. The new version will ask you, see, please say, please, you know, tell me where you put it first and then read it. Whatever, I, I like this way better, but who cares? It's not that big a deal. Everything right now defaults are pretty good. Read the current net list, there it is. It, um, don't try to move it, it's gonna move in a second. It's kind of weird, you hit close, and then now there's not two of them. It's just this one right here, close it right there. Now you can zoom in and start tearing apart this mess.